Good morning and a welcome back to Limpets Do Church. Well, we had some snow this week, which I'm super, super excited about, but we're not going to talk about the snow. We're going to carry on talking about the disciples. So without further ado, let me pass you on over and we're going to hear about them more. Good morning again, Limpets. How are we this week? We're going to learn a bit more about Jesus and what he did when he was here with us on earth. All the time he was on earth, he used to love going out and chatting with people. And most of all, he used to love chatting with his dad. Not, not Joe the carpenter, but God. One evening, he climbed a mountain and spent all night chatting about who he wanted to choose to be his special team, to teach and to train for the future of the work. Last week, we learned about six of them. Oh, who's joining us this week? Who are the other six then? Now then, Simon Peter, you need patience. We will learn about the others in a few minutes time. So first we are going to learn about uh, probably one of the more popular uh, and well-known disciples. Um, he was one that wasn't really liked by a lot of people and his name was Matthew. Hi guys, my name is Matthew and I am one of the disciples. So I'm going to quickly tell you my story. You see, I wasn't really very liked by many people because, well, it was my job, you see. I was a tax man. That means I used to take people's money. And, well, I wasn't very nice about it either. I would demand money from people. I wouldn't give people a second chance. But one day, Jesus was walking along the road with some of his friends and, well, there were some people shouting at me and I was shouting back and it was all very messy and all very loud and Jesus came over and he said a nice quiet word to me and he asked if I would take Jesus to my home for dinner. <gasps> this was massive news because nobody has ever wanted to have dinner with me. So Jesus came with me and we went into my house and we had some food and all the time everyone was going, why is Jesus talking to that man? Why is Jesus talking to Matthew? And well, you know what it was? Jesus loves everyone no matter what, no matter how bad we are. And that, my friends, is how I became a disciple of Jesus. After having dinner with him, I became one of his followers. Thank you. So eighth on our list was a disciple called Thomas. And he also had a name called Didymus. Didymus means twin. So what we do know about Thomas, we don't know a lot about Thomas, but what we do know is that he was most likely a twin and that was his name <laughs> basically he is mentioned an entire eight times in the new testament and four four of those times was just in a list of the disciples names so we do not know a lot about thomas but he is most recognizable known to be doubting thomas and that's because when jesus came back to life and he came to his disciples. Thomas was the one that doubted that it was him, that it was Jesus standing in front of him until Jesus showed him the holes in his hands from when he had been strung up on the cross with nails going through his hands. Now this might seem like Thomas was not very faithful in Jesus, like he wasn't such a good person, but actually, he allows us to question things. 
Jesus was absolutely happy for Thomas to doubt him and for Jesus to be able to prove that it was him. And it is the same today. Jesus is happy to prove himself to us. And he likes us to be asking questions, not just taking everything that is said to us and going, that's definitely correct. Because there is a lot out there that isn't correct. So doubting Thomas is the next disciple on our list. Hey then bits, down back here with Dan Diz. And today's challenge is see if we can get the donut off the string within a minute. Starting now. That was hard. If you want to try it, just get some two chairs, strings, and bring the donut. Put the donut on the string, then do it without take, touching, using your hands. Have a good rest of your day. See you in a little bit. Stand is out. Yes, who else was there? Well, there are four more. James, his nickname was James the Less. We don't hear much about him. But his dad was called Alpheus, and he had a brother called Joseph, and his mother's name was Mary, and she became a friend and follower of Jesus too. Then there was somebody called Judas, and Judas's dad's name was James. He also had another funny name, Thaddeus. It can be really confusing, can't it, when we have two or three names and some people use one and some people use the other and on official papers it's yet another name. Wow. I'm glad I've only got one real name, even if I am called a few other things. Well... Simon Peter, there's another Simon as well, so you better be careful. He was very loyal and he was full of passion and enthusiasm and had been a strong nationalist. So he was nicknamed Simon the Sellot.
to five. That's right. There were six. And the last person we mustn't forget, just because he's the last name in my list. He was a man from a village called Kerith. And that's why he had the name Iscariot. He was Judas Iscariot. And sad to say, Although he was good at some things, like sums, just like you, he can count properly. He was very, very bad in the end. And he thought he was doing Jesus a favour and God, but he wasn't. He betrayed, he sold Jesus to the leaders. And so he became a traitor. And he is known as Judas Iscariot. So Jesus prayed about choosing his disciples. That might seem a little bit odd to us that Jesus prayed, but he does pray a lot. And the one thing that he prayed about all night from the time he was meant to go to bed to the time that he should have woken up, he prayed and prayed and prayed about how to choose, who to choose, how to work with them, all that sort of stuff. Have you ever stayed up all night praying? I don't think I have. Although the church sometimes does 24 hour prayer or seven day a week prayer where you might fill in a time slot and go and pray. But I don't think I have ever prayed all night. But that is what Jesus did. Well, Limpets, are we ready for prayer drill? One. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you this morning for the example of how Jesus prayed. He prayed all night, night before making big decisions of choosing his disciples. Help us to pray when we have to decide various things. Bless our families this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. So today we have learned about another Simon, we've learned about two Judases, we've learned about Matthew, we've learned about Thomas and we've learned about another James. There really are a lot of people with the same name, two Simons, two Jameses, two Judases, they all seem to have the same name in the Bible clearly, but as you notice a lot of them have two names, which might be a surname, it might be the title of their job, it might just be the fact that they are younger or older, or the type of character that they are. They had all sorts of reasons to have a second name. I am Naino, but my actual name is Naomi, but a lot of people call me Naino, so it could be simple.
similar, but not quite. Well, that is all we've got time for today. Next week, we are going to learn a little bit more about what Jesus did whilst he was on earth. Now that we've learned all about the disciples, we're going to hear about times when Jesus is with his disciples or he talks to his disciples or teaches his disciples or uses them to, to do the miracles and, and all sorts of things that we see in the New Testament. Bye. <laughs>